See, this isn't fair. If we're gonna talk about X Little Nightmares developers, it is only fair for us to talk about the actual Little Nightmares developers, aka Tarzer Studios. So today, we are going to talk about, and again, shout out to Viking Gaming. I was watching one of his videos, and I came across this. This video idea popped into my head, and here we are. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to a cancelled 4 slash hopefully what will make a comeback from Tarzir Studios and we are talking about City of Metronome. Yup. There's so much to talk about here so no way wasting any more time and let us begin. So City of Metronome, this was a puzzle game in development by Tarzir Studios that was revealed all the way back in 2005. They revealed the trailer as well as a little bit of gameplay during the E3 2005. Yes, we're talking 2005. That would be decades ago at this point. So they revealed that and unfortunately due to not finding any public Publishers, the game was initially cancelled. But it is really interesting because you guys need to know the peeps behind Little Nightmares 1 and Little Nightmares 2, they were on this bull years ago. So let's see what we have here. So the city of Metronome is a puzzle adventure game in which you survive in the city Metronome by creating, recording, modifying and using environment sounds to defeat enemies or solve puzzle. Let's take a look at the reveal trailer. Yep, already way too many vibes from Little Nightmares. It's like they learned all their lessons from this game that they were working on and they took it to the next level. Fortunately, they found a publisher for Little Nightmares franchise, but unfortunately, they couldn't find a publisher for this one. This game had a very solid premise. So, they said, As the sun rises over Metronome, thousands of citizens board the huge steam trains that will carry them into the city. Your job as an apprentice train engineer is usually very simple during the early early rush. Check that everyone's work order is valid, record their voice ticket, and then clear your card for departure. Now the entire passenger coach has gone quiet. Everyone stares expectantly at you and the raven-haired girl in the back of the car. She looks distantly out of the window, ignoring the fact that her work order is missing, not to mention the strange coincidence of your voice recorder breaking down just as you were checking her voice pass. So already, such an intriguing premise here. You listen to it and you're like, hold on, I'm in. What are we doing here? So, when I'll tell you the description of this game, automatically it'll click. When the veil of conformity, not comforty, is lifted, you begin to question the world around you. Who and what are you? In the city of continuous labor, keep that in mind. What is the actual purpose of Metro Gnomes? And are the scouts really there to help the citizens as the corporation claims? Together with the mysterious girl, New, that's her name, New. You set out to uncover her hidden past, a journey that will lead you through several exceptional locations, trying to reveal the truth about the mysterious corporation and find the purpose of the city itself. Already, too many things happen. One thing, there's a theme of the names Tarzir. You guys are weird. Six, seven, mono, new. I'm seeing, by the way, seven. Oh, we just made that up, the community. We still can't say if it's actually an official name. But yeah, already such an interesting world that they created. I'll be showing you guys the gameplay of it on your screens right now as we speak. So Viking Gaming, they shared all of the characters and the concept arts for City of Metronome. So as they're playing on your screens right now, I'll tell you a little bit about it of the things that made it into Little Nightmares from this. So first of all, you can find a direct reference, direct callback to this this game very early in the first Little Nightmares where one of the covers for this game appears in the photos which was really clean callback then City of Metro gnomes those gnomes they themselves became an actual part of the world that you were in in the first game gnomes very similar thing right there then so much of this was taken as an inspiration for the second game Little Nightmares 2 City of Metronome 
Pale City. You're playing as a boy and you have a mysterious AI buddy with you. New, her name is New, and in Little Nightmares 2 you have Mono and Six. Together they both unravel the mystery of this entire Pale City and most specifically Signal Tower. Signal Tower back in the city of Metronome was Corporation. So their evil plan was going on and labor was such an important part of Little Nightmares franchise how they were showing the kid child labor, how they tackle that and so many other stuff. So the mysterious unexplained unnatural stuff there and as you're seeing those characters and those concept arts on your screens you can see so many of Little Nightmares characters were actually inspired from that mainly the janitor the longhand one so that is so clean just the idea that Tarzir Studios provide and bring to the table just amazes me I know section 9 interactive they're working on something extremely clean and I cannot wait for them to complete their stuff but don't get it twisted just as I am excited for section 9 game i am exceptionally excited for tars your studio's next game you know your boy's gonna follow them cover every single aspect of their upcoming game because if you go to their website right now it's hard studios they actually have this on their apply for job section so who knows maybe they might finally bring this game back i hope so can you imagine this game with completely new visuals extreme high quality visuals revamped on all the characters they already have characters they already have story they already have good premises they can change up the gameplay it will work just as i look now it works trust me it'll work in 2022 2023 if we get lucky 2022 but yeah that was some back in the past i was just like you know what if i cover section 9 who were x little nightmares developers why can't i cover the actual little nightmares developers tars your studios and their stuff from the past as well so encourage them tell them that hey city of metronome can we have that back? Because just so we're clear, they had no publisher, so actually nobody owns that franchise other than Tarzir Studios. We're just gonna have to wait and see on that aspect. With that being said, a Little Nightmares 2 DLC, Little Nightmares 3 videos are up on my channel and they'll keep continue to happen. Do let me know your thoughts and theories down in those comments below. Subscribe, help your boy get to 75k, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.